Hello everyone, Kingsley and Kathy back with you today and I've got to apologise at the beginning of this session. Yesterday at the very end, uh, Kathy just dropped her hymn book and I said, uh, what? She said, you forgot the hymn. Oh, I forgot the hymn. So today we're going to start with a <laughs> hymn. We don't mind, do we? I don't know this one, but it's lovely words and it says, Jesus Thy boundless love to me no thoughts can reach, no tongue declare. O oh, knit my thankful heart to thee, and reign without a rival there. Thine holy, thine alone I am. Lord, with thy love my heart inflame. O oh, grant that nothing in my soul may dwell but thy pure love alone. O oh, may thy love possess me whole, my joy, my treasure, and my crown, all coldness from my heart remove. May every act, word, thought be love. And that's translated by Mr. John Wesley. There you go. Another good Methodist, eh? Well, Mr. Methodist. Today, I want to, I'm going to get Kathy to read again since I gave her so little to do yesterday. <laughs> But uh, I was I was thinking about our lockdown. Sometimes we were not in control of certain situations in our lives, and and for those of us who are control people who who like making decisions, that can be a difficult a difficult thing. But actually, there are some things we do have control of. You're not like a billiard ball just being bounced around by other balls hitting into you. And I wanted to look today at the first Psalm, Psalm one, and this brings this into focus. Blessed is the man who walks not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor stands in the path of sinners, nor sits in the seat of the scornful. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law he meditates day and night. He shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that brings forth its fruit in its season, whose leaf also shall not wither, and whatever he does shall prosper. The go ungodly are not so, but are like the chaff which the wind drives away. Therefore the ungodly shall not stand in the judgment, nor sinners in the congregation of the righteous. For the Lord knows the way of the righteous, but the way of the ungodly shall perish. There's a real division there between the ungodly and the righteous, but actually there's no mention of COVID in that psalm. There's no mention of any pestilence or disease or problems or issues or tragedies in that psalm. It's not that they don't happen. Of course they do. But this psalm is a very simple formula, if you like, that it gives to us. And it basically says, you're blessed. And that's a great word. We have that word in many places in the house where you can read it around different parts where we are, even in this room, where it says blessed. And we are blessed. But it says, blessed is the man who doesn't do certain things, but whose delight is in the law of the Lord, meditates on it day and night. And whatever he does prospers. And he's like a tree that's planted by the river. And what I want to share with you, your word for today is this, is when we meditate on the word of God, when we put God first and put his word first in our life, it does not matter what comes our way. Because we have a direct line to God. We have a direct line to the river by meditating on his word and whatever we do will prosper. That means that even financially through this, that you can prosper. Even if it looks like you're losing your job, you can prosper. Even if it looks like all your finances are way up the kyber, you can prosper. Why? Not by panicking and by running here and there, but by meditating on the word of God. You'll be like a tree planted by the river. That means your source will be his source because you are drawing from him. I find that so encouraging because there are times we want to run to people or run to others. No, there's only one source that you have as a child of God, and that is God himself. So I want to encourage you today, run to the source. Now, Kathy's going to read again to us because she's a great reader and loves reading. And we're going to read from the Gospel of Luke, where it talks about the Lord's Supper. Luke chapter 22, verse 14. When the hour had come, Jesus sat down and the twelve apostles with him, and he said to them, With fervent desire I have desired to eat this Passover with you before I suffer. For I say to you, 
I will no longer eat of it until it is fulfilled in the kingdom of God. And he took the cup and gave thanks and said, this, Take this and divide it among yourselves, for I say to you, I will not drink of the fruit of a vine until the kingdom of God comes. And he took bread, gave thanks and broke it and gave it to them, saying, This is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. And likewise he also took the cup after supper, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood, which is shed for you. Wonderful. There's a little phrase at the beginning of that. He says, I won't, I won't have this again until it's fulfilled in the kingdom of God. Jesus said, I'm going to prepare a place for you. If I go, I'll come again. That where I am, you may be also. One day we will eat and drink again with him in his presence in a wonderful place. That's something to look farther for. Forward? Forward. That's something to look forward to. So let's get her. If you need to pause the video, do that. And let's just eat and drink together, remembering Jesus who gave his life for us. Let's eat. Thank you. <clears throat> oh, what a wonderful exchange took place at the cross. And when we drink this cup together, we remember the great transaction that was made. He took your sin. I'm sorry. And he gave you everything that he had, he gave to you. Today, you don't have to worry. You don't have to fret. You don't have to panic. You don't have to shout, but if you feel free, if you want to. You don't have to run here and there looking for everything. We have to just settle ourselves in him. He gives us everything we need. We're like a man or a woman who's planted by the river who takes in from him. So let's drink together and take in from him today in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord, that you love us and you've blessed us. And we just appreciate for that you feed us again today. Lord, I pray for us as a group of people that we, we will be planted by the river, that we will meditate on your word day and night, that that word will be deep in our heart so that we act and we move according to the word of God. Lord, I pray for us, all our families, all our friends. Lord, all of those who need your touch today, would you bless them in their home? We pray especially for those that we will meet when we go out from this place. Our post people, men or women who come and deliver our post. Our people who deliver the food for those of us who have it delivered. The people that we meet when we go to the supermarkets, we go to the shops, we go to wherever it is that we go. Lord, I pray that we would bring the presence of God with us and that we would bring your word with us that we've heard in the quiet place. And that Lord, in these times of preparation, that we would be prepared to be used by you, Lord to spread your word to many people in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So the Lord bless you and keep you. And we will be back with you tomorrow on Wednesday. Remember, 6 o'clock here in the UK, that's 12 midday in Texas. We'll have a short time live and we'll be praying for you then. So have a great week and may, may the Lord bless you in Jesus' name. Amen.